All right, guys. Well, our first find of the night. Oh, that torch is a bit bright. Is that um, great barred frog? Well, I'm pretty sure to be a great barred frog. Only other species in this area that could resemble that is a flays barred frog. But I'm pretty sure it's a great barred. Yeah, we'll try to get a better video of this and see what else we can find. But that's pretty cool for the first find of the night. Walking down this track. Guys, well, we have our second bard. We're not actually getting good pictures of them on the actual cannons, because I don't know why, they're just not focusing. But it is a little misty, so the quality won't be as good. But that is the second bard in what, I think it's been 30 minutes of herping. So this is just insane. I'm really happy. But yeah, we'll leave that guy alone and move on to the next one, because there's one just up on the track past here. Guys, well, I've completely drenched myself, but it's all worth it, because... The uh, great barred frog that we just saw is still up there on that path there. You might you won't be able to see him, but he's up there. And then the third great barred for the night, this guy right here. He's decently big, not as big as the first one, which is still the biggest. Pretty good. So that is three in I think ten minutes. But um, well, from the first one to this one, it's been about ten minutes. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So we'll get a few photos of him on the cannon, and then, yeah, leave him alone, keep on looking. But three barred frogs, that is really cool. Alright guys, well it is the second day, and our first herp is that big fella. That is the um, land mullet, Australia's largest skink. Uh, they get their name because of their fish-like scales along their body, and they can be found really anywhere like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll keep on looking down to the creek. But that is a great find for the first find of the day. Yeah, we'll leave them alone, get a few pictures and keep on looking. Alright guys, well we've got our second land mullet just up there. He might be retreating into the um into the bush. Hopefully we'll have to get a good shot. Saw him from a mile away and he's a pretty big one. So we'll see if we can get a good shot of him. Alright guys, well we've just We're a little closer to this guy. Actually reasonably close. If you look there, you can see how the scales resemble fish scales in a sense. Oh, there he goes. But yeah, we'll leave him alone and keep on heading up the path and see what else we can find. Yeah, there he goes. 